not sure about how chroma key works stay tuned i'm gonna make it real simple for you hit the logo what's up guys ken mosley here aka k dog back with another video if you're new to the channel i want to say welcome if you're a returning viewer i want to say welcome back my last video I told you, I showed you how to make your own green screen cheaply. I also told you I was going to explain how chroma key works. So let's get started. Okay. As I've said in previous videos, I do everything from my phone. My editing software, which is Kinemaster, is on my phone. I have it on my Chromebook, but I haven't <laughs> used it yet. I'm still comfortable with my phone. So that's what we'll be using. All right. So, we'll open up Kingdom Master. Now, we'll create new. Pick my ratio, which is right here. We'll hit next. Now, if you're not using Kingdom Master and you're using some other software, yours is going to look different, but there's three things that's going to be universal. One, the project. To the project that you're going to layer over the first project and then the chroma key so watch and then try it on your editing software if it's not the same okay so first things first I'm going to go into my favorites I'm going to get my background let's say we'll use this one now with my background you don't have to extend it but I'm going to extend it here now, with my background set, I'm going to go into my layer, and I'm going to take a project that I want to overlay of the background. Because you see, as you can see it the way it looks now, with that green screen, once you eliminate the green screen, what's in back, which is your original project, is going to shine through. That's the whole point of chroma key. So, excuse me. I'm going to find, there it is, my split screen. I'm going to make that hole. Now, as you can see, you cannot see the first project, which is the background. So, now, we're going to highlight the project that's in the front, and we're going to scroll until we see chroma key. Hey, there you go. Now you're going to enable chroma key. Once you enable chroma key, you see how the screen kind of changes now? See how it's kind of blending in? Your top icon, which is the person, you have to meld the top and the bottom, which is that means the person and the background. And once you start Filling with these, you'll see how they change you. See how I, how I disappear? Now, you got to match these up. And what you do is, you see the outside, and then you come on, and then you cl gradually clear that up. Now, once that's done, you see that? Green screen is gone, and it's just me with my background now if you want to check it as you go this icon will show you just how much you have to black out and as you see watch see how that goes see how that goes and pretty much that's it the other thing about chroma key is when you are actually doing it You can see this or you can when you are looking at your green screen color this little green square represents all the colors that you can black out so you want to match your screen with the colors that they have to make sure you get the best blackout ability and as for that that's about it well that's it 
If you learn anything, like my video, hit that subscribe button, give me that thumbs up, hit them, that like button. Well, till my next video, this is Ken Mosey, aka K Dog, signing out. Peace.